What do you think of this picture? Looks messy, right? What about this one? Have you noticed something? No? How about this? Still nothing. Okay, okay, the last one. Does it ring the bell? Well, what if I show them all together? Can you notice something now? It's hard, isn't it? But I'm sure if you give yourself a bit of time and find some patience, you can solve it on your own. You can pause the video if you want, because in a second I'm just gonna give you the answer anyway. 3, 2, 1... This whole thing is one picture. You can notice it by this, this, this and this. If you still have doubts that it's Photoshop, here is the same thing from another angle. Impressive, right? As much as Mooncage, the recently released mind-blowing puzzler. If I needed to explain what Mooncage is in one sentence, I would say it's like a Rubik's Cube combined with that picture and the only purpose of that is to show how dumb you are. At least that's how I felt, but it does mean that the game is bad. On the contrary, it's fantastic, and let me tell you why. There are not that many games where perspective is the core element of gameplay. Mooncage is one of the few, and if you're a fan of puzzle games, it's the must play. Briefly speaking, you have a cube with different places in time and space, and what you need to do is to find similar looking objects, match them for the sake of queen perspective and move along to the next puzzles. If you think that it sounds rather simple, you're right. If you know what to match and what to do, you can finish the game in about 20 minutes. The only problem there is that you don't know and the game is not really in a hurry to explain what is going on and what you can or can't do. Sometimes the solutions are quite obvious, however, most of them are shockingly witty and unpredictable. And that's what makes it great. Nobody explains you anything, and when you finally get an epiphany, you feel like you're a genius. Even if you have spent an hour or two on a tiny little thing. Of course, the game has quite an elegant system of hints. It doesn't show or tell exactly what you need to do for the first time. Yet, if you desperately need a solution, you'll be shown a short video of how to solve a problem. Don't recommend using that though, cause to be honest it feels like the game is mocking you. Couldn't you see that, huh? Really? Don't you need a new pair of glasses? It was so easy, wasn't it? How could you just see that? The inventive game design brings us to the second point, the storytelling. Imagine five screens, each of them show you the same very movie, but from different places on the timeline and all of those episodes play all together at the same time, affecting and explaining one another. That's Mooncage. The story itself is quite touching. As more you play, collect photos and achievements, as more details and hidden depths you may find. Psst, there is a secret ending. So, if you like having Eureka moments and you were looking for a new favorite puzzler, then I highly recommend to give Mooncage a try. It is a great story of life trapped in a small cube, accompanied by relaxing music, and it's actually the most box-looking game which constantly pushes the limits of your imagination and demands you to think outside the box. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, don't hesitate to make the like button white and subscribe for more upcoming videos. See you the next time. Bye! Hmm... By the way, is it Mooncage or Moncage? Or maybe Moncage? Let me know in the comments. What do you think?